USRM at just over 10 cents, 10.30 to be exact. Uh, beautiful move here. Congratulations to everybody that has been tracking this one with us. Uh, we started following the stock over here uh, in I believe it was January 17th, right there around the 0044. We can go back up in here. Look at this list. This is how many times we've actually been covering this with each day marked in here. 0044 uh, still has room to go alert. So we put that one on alert over here on investorshangout.com forward slash live. And guess what? You guys made some moves. I mean, just to think about that off that 0044. And now, I mean, uh, yeah, of course, you got up to 18 cents over here, but right now, even still. Uh, over 10 cents. So congratulations to everybody that's been following this one as much as we have and benefited from this when we were talking about it live. Uh, with that being said, again, on the 12th right here, if we take a look at that, uh, right in that area, I said, watch for the bounce off to 20 day simple moving average 0904 to continue if volume picks up. Look at that volume, beautiful pickup off that volume. I mean, you guys had the 12th at 7.54, all the way up to 7 million, almost tripled in volume. Uh, not bad. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty obvious. Look at the moves that's happening right now. Otherwise, support at 0904 uh, and 0694. Resistance at 1097 and 12. Uh, those levels are going to be put in place here because of the 10-day simple moving average. That's why these numbers are pretty close together. Uh, certain numbers are more significant than others, uh, especially when you you know put, put into play which simple day moving averages we're actually talking about. The 20 day simple moving average at 0940 now. So, all, of course, all those numbers that I've talked about on the 12th are starting to shift around. The reason for that is obviously because of the levels down here move around with the moving averages. That is what I take as being support and resistance. Everybody has their own way of doing things, which is completely fine. Uh, everybody does what works for them. With that being said, at 1030 right here, beautiful move again. Bounce off that 20 day, showing that strength. The RSI now at 56.5165. Everything is reset, and you guys are getting that out of this thing right now, starting to rally back up. So, uh, 1030. We're going to put the resistance levels again. You guys are hitting a small one right here. I'm not too concerned with that one as much as I am with the 10 day, and I'm just going to put that in there. So, that's going to be 1113. Uh, the resistance level and then following up off of that's going to be 1191 support. I'm going to put that down at the 20 day, which is that burgundy line that you see going up underneath it. 0811 uh, looks to be a little bit of a line over here as well, right around that area, 1110. Uh, we'll go with 10, which was a low. Right there, yep, very close to it. You guys get the idea because on the 11th, the low was 0811, and then uh, on the 13th, the low was 0810, so one point off. We'll go with that one, so that's going to be the support, and then followed up behind that is going to be uh, even lower at the 0714. So that should give you an idea of the, the price points of where it's at. Uh, we're going to put a watch. All right, so again, USRM, as many times we've been covering that, I mean, there hasn't been too much good news here as far as the chart goes uh, over the last, you know, few, few days here, the last week or so. Um, with that being said, things have changed. And uh, again, I'll read this chart. 1030, resistance at 1113, 1191, support at 0940, 0810, and 0714. Watch for a break of 1113. Chart is set up for the next move here, in my opinion. You're going to be watching for that break to the 10-day. Beautiful bounce off that 20-day. Hopefully, that volume continues. I'm going to put that in here as well. But, I mean, again, like I said, the volume is up uh, three times uh, the previous amount. So, that's obviously going to be a good sign as well. So, uh, USRM, definitely keep this one on your watch list. And make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already. Uh, get out there and share this video with all other investors on different social networks. Stock message boards and stock forms, we'd appreciate that very much. The more you share it, the more it's requested, the more we will continue to cover it. And make sure you join over at investorshangout.com forward slash live for our next show to request your tickers in live time.